Hi, Karen Lee here with Karen Reads. Come to you from my coming to you from my living room in South Berwick. This story is called Little Beaver and the Echo. And the echo is that special sound where you hear something that's said and it's repeated again. So let's investigate Little Beaver and his echo. Little Beaver lived all alone by the edge of a big pond. He didn't have any brothers. He didn't have any sisters. Worst of all, he didn't have any friends. One day, sitting by the side of the pond, he began to cry. He cried out loud. Then he cried louder. Little Beaver stopped crying. Hello, he called. Hello, said a voice from across the pond. Why are you crying, asked Little Beaver. Why are you crying, asked the voice from across the pond. Little Beaver thought for a moment. I'm lonely, he said. I need a friend. I'm lonely, said the voice from across the pond. I need a friend. It was a big pond. Beaver paddled and paddled. Then he saw a young duck swimming in circles all by himself. I'm looking for someone who needs a friend, said little Beaver. Was it you who was crying? I do need a friend, said the duck, but it wasn't me who was crying. I'll be your friend, said little beaver. Come with me. So the duck jumped into the boat. They paddled and paddled. Then they saw a young otter sliding up and down the bank all by himself. We're looking for someone who needs a friend, said Little Beaver. Was it you who was crying? I do need a friend, said the otter, but it wasn't me who was crying. We'll be your friends, said Little Beaver and the duck. Come with us. So the otter jumped into the boat. Otters are so beautiful. They paddled and paddled. Then they saw a young turtle sunning himself all alone on a rock. We're looking for someone who needs a friend, said Little Beaver. Was it you who was crying? I do need a friend, said the turtle, but it wasn't me who was crying. We'll be your friend, said Little Beaver, and the duck and the otter. Come with us. So the turtle jumped into the boat and they paddled and paddled until they came to the end of the pond. Here lived a wise old beaver in a mud house all alone. Little beaver told him how they had paddled all around the pond to find out who was crying. It wasn't the duck, he said. It wasn't the otter and it wasn't the turtle. Who was it? It was the echo, said the wise old beaver. Where does he live, asked the little beaver. On the other side of the pond, said the wise old beaver. No matter where you are, 
The echo is always across the pond from you. Why is he crying, said Little Beaver. When you are sad, the echo is sad, said Wise Old Beaver. When you are happy, the echo is happy too. But how can I find him and be his friend, asked Little Beaver. He doesn't have any friends and neither do I. Except for me, said the duck, and me, said the otter, and me, said the turtle. Little Beaver looked surprised. Yes, he said, I have lots of friends now. And he was so happy that he said it again very loudly. I have lots of friends now. From across the pond, a voice answered him. I have lots of friends now. So the echo is coming back to him. You see, said the wise old beaver, when you're happy, the echo is happy. When you have friends, he has friends too. Hooray, shouted little beaver, and the duck, and the otter, and the turtle, all together. And the e echo shouted back to them, hooray. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed our book today. It was great to hang out with you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.